<laughs> Sorry. Find on my calls real quick. Yep. Okay. All right. Mm. All right, Mr. Nino. So uh, after talking to you. Okay. You, 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 did you want fries? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay. Um, after talking <laughs> to you yesterday, I kind of uh, I started to really think about it because uh, you know you raised a lot of good questions. You said, "Why um, do I want to be? Why do I want to be the chief?" Which yes, I didn't even know I was going to come in here and have that happen. But uh, you know, I kind of uh, during academy yesterday I had time to think about everything and. Uh, and then uh, last night before I went to bed, I ended up finishing. I think it was on duty like 13 hours yesterday. And then I was like, mm. I did take a shower. And I do my deepest thinking in the shower. Mm. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. How'd your meeting yeah. go with Myths uh, uh, Blackwell? It was good. I, I, I've been um, I've been enjoying having, I, I've been trying to meet with as many people around this shift because I haven't had uh, enough of them because... Regardless of what happens down the line, I need to maintain at least a pulse. Uh, because even now, I have a very vague concept of what's happening within the PD, right? I only got metrics. Six cops on duty. I got metrics. Okay. There's been three academies in like five, six weeks. Yet. <laughs> Zero retention. Yeah. The six cops. Like, the fuck? Um, you know. So, you know. Um, how many are there right now? Uh, cops on duty, LSPD yep. or BCSO? Uh, b uh, each. Uh, around 15, give or take. Some of them are doubled up right now. Uh, I think one cadet, two, two cadets, I believe. Uh, let's see here. One cadet, uh, three cadets in LSPD, and it looks like one inside the BCSO. Really? Yeah. Uh, we finished the academy yesterday inside of BC BCSO. It actually went pretty well. Actually, did we finish it? I that's that's it. quite good. Yeah, it's it's the, the it seems like the honest to god truth is. So I got I originally got hired for shift two. Uh, I asked. I told Bones. I was like, look, like I want to transfer your department. I don't know if there's a lot of room. I for miss RPing with Trav. Me. We have the um, we can literally chaser, have the do the craziest convos. Can, uh, help assist in furthering the police department. Like, I, what do I need to do? I miss so comedy convos time because it was lacking. But like this. over the time I've been coming around, like it seems like things are picking up, which is good. Uh, the shift that's down bad the most, which I found out this morning, shift three from what Albert King was telling me is shift three is actually doing very well. It's the shift three into shift mm. one that's kind of str struggling right now. But yeah. really, yeah, he said that's he in in his opinion that's the one that's down bad the worst. Even even shift two, shift two's had some fucking solid numbers recently. I think you have people like McNulty and Bones come on duty who are just fucking overall. 10 out of 10 for for morale and kind of like mm. being out there and working alongside their fucking minions and yeah it's fucking great I yeah know after that though actually but this this is pre saturday this is pre hydro raid oh yeah uh did we talk about that yeah well i told you they brought uh recruits down there not even cadets <sighs> yeah i'm still like baffled by that notion i i don't want to dig too deep into it because like i wasn't there i don't know the logic behind it Da, 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 da. Um, but you know, I got done telling Dana, like, I mean, shit's going to happen. Right. And the most important thing, and, and this is something that I understand may not jive with everybody, but the fact of the matter is PD as a whole is down bad. And until there's a level of self-recognition of that, right. And how do we get stronger? There are certain, uh, you know, depending on what shift are in, you can only push so hard with a certain amount of expectation. So that inwardly should be like the motivating factor to, uh, you know, have everyone and the PD rise, right? And leaning on tools and leading on just numbers isn't necessarily the solution, right? 
10 really good cops. No, no, absolutely not. You're yeah, can be way better not. than 50, you know? Well, it's it's kind of like we need faster cars, we need bigger guns. Like, all right, you got bigger guns. Look what fucking happened. Yeah. I think it's 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 you're right, it's deeper than that, right? And that uh, that includes not pointing fingers, right? Yeah, and saying, well, that, let's that all collectively a, see how do we do better, right? Yes. Actually, which kind of like can segue. Do you need to hmm. take that, sir? No, no. Okay, I, uh, I, I haven't. Let me see here. I have a copy of this, so I could give it to you if you want. When I'm done, it's kind of just like I wrote down everything because I think uh, conveying everything off the top yep. of my head may not necessarily be my strong suit. I believe I do know what it takes to get done, but in the yep. moment, I need to sit down and figure things out. So uh, let me just start out. I'm going to read to you kind of like a, a, a mission statement I wrote down. If it ever mm -hmm. gets too boring, you tell me shut the fuck up. But No, I, I'd like to hear it. Okay, so uh, the reason I want to be the police chief, first and foremost, is I want to make a difference. Um, it's not a grab at power. I want to lead a team that has a substantial impact on our community. I know what a successful police department looks like, and I want to implement the foundation that I've been a part of in the past. I'm committed to justice. I want to share my passion to uphold the law, ensure justice, and protect the rights of individuals. I have a genuine commitment to serve Los Santos and want to see others succeed in their endeavors inside the police department as well as the civilians living here. Um, so that's kind of just like you said, why do you want to be why do you want to be the chief of police? And I, I think that is kind of like what best describes it. But uh, to to elaborate on that or to build on that. Um, I wrote a very, it's a very basic plan of action. Um, just to show you, uh, kind of what my ideas are moving forward. So, uh, I think the other thing is, is obviously I can't execute any of this before I have specific issues that I need to point out or need to figure out. Um, I'm going to have to go to command as well as officers to identify those problems. That being said, um, the first thing I have is uh, uh, I, I would set clear goals and expectations. Every role, and actually, let me say one thing. I don't want to, one of the things that you said that I wholeheartedly agree with is I think too many people get focused on the past and instead of focusing just on what things should be, they want to go back and be like, well, this happened, that happened, and this happened. Mm. So anything I say right now, I am not going to make in comparison to the current status. I don't want to talk about anything that's going on. It's just the things I would see get done to make things better. So that being said, set clear goals and expectations. Every role needs to know what their responsibilities are and how their work contributes to the overall success of the police department, uh, i.e. bullet pointed list of expectations from the top, all the way down to the bottom. So from the chief, ash chief, LT, sergeant, uh, seniors, cadets, PPOs, etc. Um, number two is to improve communication. Foster, uh, I want to foster an environment where officers feel comfortable sharing concerns, ideas, and feedback. I want the police department to feel like it's a community working towards the future. Officers need to be listened to to get a view of all perspectives. Effective communication is a big part of resolution for conflicts and helps build trust. Okay. The chief and the chief and ash chief will have an open door uh, policy to feedback and concern. Uh, we we will also have an anonymous feedback box for officers to give top command and high command. So you know it's like a bro. I guess this it would guy be kind of like a complaint. Well, box wait, for, hold on. He actually you, you never know. You ever work a job and it's like you don't. I mean, it could be a shit show at the end of the day, but I think it would be good to have something like that where it's just yeah. like, hey, here's my issue. I don't feel comfortable coming forward. I mean, somebody could make up some bullshit, but I wasn't expecting the, this. The negative and the positive or whatever. I'll be Staying honest. Solution oriented. I think that could be a I think that's a great idea. Um, next is to provide training and reevaluate the hiring process. Sergeants and LTs need to identify gaps in skills. Uh, and, uh, excuse me, they need to identify gaps in skills and knowledge on an officer level that are contributing to the team's failure and provide proficient feedback to ensure success. The same will be happening with uh, P&T on the cadet and PPO level. 
Uh, as far as uh, reevaluating the hiring process goes, I need to meet with PT to figure out what the current hiring process looks like and what can be done to improve retention. I don't have all the knowledge on that right now, so I can't actively speak on. Sure. Is, you know, um, so next is reevaluating leadership. Mm. Uh, it's not my intention to come in and strip anyone of their rank. I do believe that we have the ability to be successful with the current command. I need to evaluate what styles of leadership are most effective what for the every fuck? shift. Figure out how to help everyone adapt to make the team better. And if necessary, consider changes to bring in a fresh perspective. That being said, I do not think that everyone needs to necessarily hold their rank. And if I feel that there's a better fit for the position, uh, I will be considering different options for that. Um, I think it's important to Wait, bring what in is happening? new command every once in a while because it gives fresh perspectives. You know, I, I in my opinion is command should be a revolving door but if you have somebody that is absolutely solid and fucking upholding their duties it's like you know i don't i don't want to fit i don't want to fix what ain't broken but at the same time there's always bound to be a squeaky joint uh accountability within the pd a strong leadership will be established to encourage empowerment of lower lower ranks out in the field i want my officers to have a backbone out in the field and know that their higher ups will have their back Regular monitors will be established for performance and to give constructive feedback, recognize achievements, and to encourage improvement. And uh, individuals will also be held accountable. Next, support. Command needs to be present at all times through all shifts. Command will be available to support through challenges. Command is required to provide guidance and encouragement to help build morale and to give PD a fucking backbone. This will also fall on senior officers. Officers that have been promoted to the rank of senior have been promoted for a reason. Uh, continued education and improvement. C command should always be giving feedback to make further improvements, find solutions uh, that come up in the field or in the office. I'll promote and encourage a culture of continuous learning and improvement. Sergeants, LTs, PNT will be encouraged to ride with officers every so often to discuss ways to improve on an officer level uh and then the last one i got right here is public relations meeting with the mayor and marshals on a regular basis to get feedback and ways to improve the pd should feel like it's a part of the community and not an outlier our biggest critics can help by bringing concerns that pd is not necessarily aware of uh i tyler peters will carry on the legacy of the pd the dallas police department Wow. Yep. Okay. So, uh, are you able to operate shift two? Yeah, I could operate. So, I mean, the, the beauty of everything that's going on, um, if this did, if this did, if I did come into this position, I would plan on being around, uh, during every shift, at least once a week. I mean, mm -hmm. shift three is going to be the fucking is going to be the one that it's going to suck the most dick, but it's like, uh, the other thing, you know, I'm a, I mean, I'm your primary, a, your primary shift, could that be shift two? Yeah. So that's what I got hired for. The, the reason okay. I'm here right now is because, um, like I said, bones asked me to come around a little bit earlier, but shift two, I could be around shift two into shift three. I mean, fuck, I could be around shift three and I, I, to, to elaborate on everything as well. And I'm sure you can relate not to, this isn't a dig at all but i want to leave i'm I, if i if i take the position of chief i know it ain't forever um and whatever time i got i want it to be the best possible and this is probably selfish but i want to leave behind a fucking legacy okay uh do you care if i give you policy and expect you to fit it regardless of whether or not it's in legislation given i would be the voice of the people with the intent of ensuring your success. Elaborate a little bit for me. Uh, so policy I it, is... I mean, within, I, it's within it's the a, confines of the law, correct? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, of for course. The, for the I'll, greater good of the police I'll tell you department. what policy means. I'm not Max fucking small dick uh, thoroughbred. Okay. Um, uh, every uh, thing, every... Um, if an officer does something, there's like, you know, uh, ran over somebody, right? Used excessive force. 
that needs to be resolved that day. Highest fucking priority outside of like fucking terrorism. Why? That victim needs to know that something was done. That officer should not be held over a fire for goddamn weeks. If it require it enters into criminal nature, take, uh, you know, take up to 48 hours. You need to evaluate that, figure it out, and make a decision. Move the fuck on. Suspensions should be uh, at most three days. So from a couple hours to three days. Um, the, uh, like, you know, the punishment for a cop should be the equivalent to what fucking criminals go through, right? You fucking murder someone, you're in jail for three days. Why the fuck would you, you know, spend a month on something punishment should happen often and normalized that's a policy I, yeah yes okay so something like that i would agree to elaborate on that well uh discipline i think i think i think it should be looked at as discipline versus punishment right correct yes action. yeah it shouldn't be agreed like, yo so you you fucking you did this you're getting daps it should be right hey you were getting daps this is for our record as well as for you um, this is what you did wrong. This is how you fix it in the future. But yes, yes, okay. I would be willing to do that thing. I just that wanted to make discipline sure discipline will include things like they're not going to go to sleep for three days. Fuck that shit. You're going to tell them, um, you know, you're suspended for four hours. We need a hundred materials. Yes, sir. Why? Because this whole, like, I've had way too much bullshit come through this office where it's like, Oh my God, if we tell people, oh yeah, it needs to be told to the, you know, uh, if it, for the biggest things, it comes with a press release. Such and such thing happened in our city. We have corrected the problem. We have resolved it with the civilian and, and boom, this person has been disciplined. Now I have heard too many people say, well, that person's going to get targeted. Motherfucker, when, when a CI is exposed when someone goes to jail it's not like people should like disappear into their fucking apartment into a black hole and they don't exist in the world anymore that doesn't make any sense this, this isn't a fucking video game that disciplinary action putting them out there and getting to know people is only healthy i agree 100 percent. okay uh I have a strong suggestion for yes, Ass Chief. <clears throat> Would you be open to it? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, any questions for me? Uh, I mean, just n not currently. I'm sure. I'm sure I'll have a fucking ton of questions. Okay, easy. I wasn't expecting this, and uh, I need to cook now because I had focused in on a chief but i'm not gonna let another good option go out of the way now i just got to think about either if i'm gonna appoint one or put it up to vote or whatever so um okay. I, uh, yes sir yeah all right easy all right i appreciate it thank you very much yes sir absolutely um i have an extra copy i don't know if you wanted this uh book yeah we're not kind of like my outline on everything. Nino? Oh, okay. I thought you were about to hand it over. Do, do you want? No, I was asking oh, yeah, yeah, if you I'll wanted. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, so, I mean, some of it is kind of, uh, excuse the grammar and, and, and some of that, but, uh, you know, it's. All right, easy. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. All right. You uh you uh stay safe out there. Thank you, sir. All right.